I saw the sign a couple of weeks ago when I visited the thrift store in my original hometown and the sign said everybody's got to believe in something I believe I'm gonna have a beer Cheers When I was there I thought to buy a new set of guitar strings at local music shop which mainly sells musical instruments and equipment but there's also a little corner where you can find some new and second hand vinyl I noticed two little boxes on the floor and those had some seven inch vinyl singles and of course I had to check out those because you never know if you're gonna find something and I found nine singles that I thought were worth the buy and it turned out to be my cheapest haul ever. It just cost me an incredible 1.8 euros which is practically nothing. Did I farm something interesting? As always you'll be the judge. First of all, I managed to find five singles from Jennifer Rush. If any of you remember any song from Jennifer Rush, it's probably The Power of Love. Unfortunately, it wasn't amongst these findings. Here's something interesting. Back in 1984-1985, there were three The Power of Love songs, and each one of those were hits. One was by Jennifer Ross, the other one was by Huey. Lewis and the News and the third one was by Frankie Goes to Hollywood Coincidence? I don't think so but anyway what did I found, find by Jennifer Ross? well all these songs were new to me I have listened to this and some songs are okay. No classics though. But if a single costs just 20 cents by an artist that I have heard something, how wrong can I go? And let me show you these. Jennifer Ross singles Flames of Paradise duet with Elton John for my name on the B-side Higher Ground each B-side has Angel and no, this is not a Steve Wonder cover. Then 
if you're ever gonna lose my love and that with Madonna's eyes from the album Moving Heart or Mind that with Heart Wars and finally love gets ready and how that how <coughs> God damn it. now that it's over on the B side and then a single from Aerosmith the other side is a good Aerosmith track but unfortunately this single has a terrible club mix edit version of that track and it is pretty terrible hard to believe it but when I bought this this was the second ever Aerosmith 7 inch signal that I had ever seen oh. then Sting all this time back to it an instrumental track I miss you Okay. This is a well loved copy, which means that somebody really has listened to this song. And this song reminds me of a time when we finally got MTV back in January 1990. And this song was on a heavy rotation. This is a pretty good song, and I still <laughs> like it. X One Halen singer David Lee Roth. A little ain't enough, but with babies on fire. Well, I would say this is not his finest moment, but I bought this just in case, and it's an okay track. And by the way, a couple of videos ago, our dear VC friend LJ showed David a little ain't enough LP. So he might be happy if he would have this single. And I say the best for last. This is David Lee Roth's Yankee Rose back with Going Crazy. And classic track including the guitar with also Steel Y. I'm very, very pleased with this find because this happens to be my favorite track by David Lee Roth. A little bit of rock and roll. So, what do you think? At least I didn't pay so much of these and these were in pretty good condition so no harm done please leave a comment or a question and thank you for watching careful with that needle
weed. This is a little town called Habaranda. And it's right next to Finnish border. And as you can see, <coughs> Haparanda has IKEA, and everybody knows what IKEA is. And basically, that's it, what I have to say about Papa Ronda. See you, BC. So here you can see System Bulaget. If you are in Sweden, the only shop where you can buy beer or strong stuff like wine and spirits is System Bulaget. I guess you just can't beat the system. Check this. I'm entering Finland. This is a town called Torneo. This is my original hometown. And basically, that's it. See you.